So you've been in your Minecraft world for a little while now, you've gathered a few resources, you've survived several nights, and now you think you deserve a really nice little cottage that you can spend some of your days in for a little while. Well, you know what? You're in luck. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to show you how to make a really gorgeous little starter cottage, and it's coming right now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another building tutorial with me, Avamance. Now, a lot of you have asked me, Avo, we're loving your tutorials, but could you do a really simple, almost like a starter, but a little rustic housey type thing? And I thought, you know what, I can do something like that, I'd be happy to. So today, we are gonna build a small rustic house that is pretty survival friendly and can probably be made at the very, very early stages. There's nothing in there really that's too difficult to actually grab hold of, depending on where you spawn from. So. Hopefully we'll be able to help you out on that one, which would be brilliant if you enjoy the video. You know the drill. Make sure you smack that like button for me. It would be great to know that you're actually enjoying what I'm making. And then I can make some more for you. Let me know in the comments exactly what it is you would like, because it's always good to hear from you. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that sub button. It's really important that you also hit the notifications bell on the screen now. You can see exactly how to do that. It's dead, dead easy, and you will never miss another one of my videos if you do that one. Enough of all that malarkey, let's get on with this build, shall we? Now we've got a lovely little spot here with the pond in front of us and a little step down from a fairly decent sized plane here. So this is where we are going to make ourselves a little house. So the first thing we're going to do is to cut a hole. One, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, real tiddle, five by five and we will build around it in just a bit. So get this bit done, and then we're gonna fill it up with some oak wood planks. That looks fabulous. And then on the corner of each of these, let's stick ourselves four high oak wood. And then create some cross struts from one post to another which gives us a bit of shape and structure. So you can see there, I've managed to whack out a little square at the front of the house there, which is okay, because I was gonna remove that anyway. I wasn't gonna do it yet, to be fair, but I was gonna remove it, so it's all right. I'm not overly panicked on that one. So now, we're gonna get some cobblestone, and we're gonna come across three. Yes, I know it's in line with this wood. It's all right. We're gonna do something, hopefully, that's gonna make that nice in a minute. So bring it all the way around. You said you wanted small. I'm doing small. I don't know what you want me to tell you. So then we're gonna come around on this side as well. One, two, and one, and two. So now we can fill that in like we said we were going to. Then we're gonna bring in some more oak wood and we're gonna put on the outside of each of our struts an extra little bit because I do like to have just a tiddly bit of depth in my walls. I can't stand flat walls. They've got to be a little bit zingy. So we're making them zingy by bringing them out just like this. And I think it'll work absolutely wonders for the rest of the build. Then just to stop our confusion, we're gonna come inside and we're gonna get our oak door and we're gonna pop it there. And we're also gonna be putting an oak door out to the back garden. Um, so let's put that there, lose that piece there stick that and get oak wood door on that side as well because the back garden is going to be on the side we're also going to be doing a little bit of um gardening which means that we're going to want some seeds planting in our garden we're not going to want a very big garden so we can do it by putting the water here and if we put the water here it means we've got one extra slot that we can do our back garden with and it's just a lot easier that way so i can just replace the cobblestone on top of that. Oh, that's the gravel. Whoops, I got the wrong one. Replace the cobblestone on top of that. Let's remove the gravel because we want the gravel to be for another place. So let's put the water back and then let's put the cobblestone on top of it. Yay, we got there in the, in the end. It was a bit of a nightmare and the trip was hard and arduous, but we made it. So we're going to put those lie there like that. And then we want to create ourselves a back window, definitely. So we're going to do one, two, and then one like that. And we're gonna come around this side, and there's also gonna be a window on this side as well. So we're gonna have a gap like 
that, which looks pretty cool. I'm happy with that. And then if we get a little bit of dirt, we're going to put dirt there. And you'll see why in just a minute. Dirt there. And we're going to get a trap door. And put a trap door on the top of that. Mark it down. On the top of that and whack it down and on top of that we are going to be putting some glass so let's get a glass pane in there because we need glass pane for our window so we come around this side where's the other window gone there it is so we're going to have glass panes for this window as well and then we've got to decide what blocks are we going to put either side of our windows and i like stone brick for the middle section of my window so i'm going to use stone brick so i'm going to put one there and one there one there and one there now the reason we're doing just one open window is because we need some floor space and some wall space within the house otherwise it's all going to be window and we're not going to be able to do anything with it and then here because glass doesn't connect with doors um, we need to put blocks there and there but what we can do is we can bring this glass in now and we can put the glass there and there and I think that works really quite well and then come around this side and do exactly the same thing so block there block there and then glass on there and there which gives us plenty of open plan and then under here we need to get ourselves some upside down steps wherever we've got an opening which includes the door and then come around this side upside down step there come around this side upside down step just there and also door window window like that that looks fab so and then obviously if we've got oak wood there we need to continue filling in with oak wood blocks where we haven't got steps so let's get those in as well so that is a pretty decent start to the house now you're thinking that looks really weird, that, uh, that dirt block. And it does. I, I give you, it does look a little bit weird. But I wanted to have a window box. So I'm sticking a window box on there and on there. And that is going to create a nice little effect, I think, for the house. Then on here, we need to get those steps again. Because we've missed out on the steps on this side. So let's get the steps there. One, two, three, and four. We've got them on that side already. We've got them on that side already. And we've got them on that side already. Now, so what we want to do is we want to be getting ourselves some... Where are they? Oh, our stairs are there. So we're going to get some stairs. Upside down spruce stairs. So I want to come... Not upside down. I want to come the right way around and bring those stairs out like that along the edge. So they're jutting out away from the wall. And that's all right. We want that at the moment. It's going to make for a nice overhang in just a minute and what we're also going to do is we're going to get some cobblestone stairs because cobblestone stairs really work extremely well with spruce wood you'll see what I mean in a minute we're going to put cobble there and we're going to put cobble there like that so that means that what we're going to have is a sloping away we're not going to have the gable on the front we're going to have the gable on the side I like the way it works out when you put gables on the sides if you want to rotate this and put the gable on the front you are more than welcome to it absolutely works that way as well it's just a personal preference i quite like putting the gable on the side on this particular house so let's get this edging done like that so we've got a really nice start to a roof and then we're going to do a fairly classic upside down um, gable and just complete that until we've got a nice standard v-shaped roof so i'll carry on and do that now The roof is all but finished there really so we are going to just finish that off by sticking a cobblestone step upside down just there we're going to come along the other end and we're going to put a cobblestone step again upside down just there and then we're going to get a cobblestone slab which i've not got out of my inventory yet so a cobblestone slab right there which is going to come out just to jut a little bit further out which gives it a little bit more and a little bit more interest I guess than you would expect from just a fairly standard um, flat end and then we're going to stick one more there and we're going to get a 
row of slabs, spruce wood slabs along the edge there, which is brilliant. And then inside, we need to decide what we're gonna do with this lovely big gap. And I think we need to continue with the oak wood because otherwise it's just gonna to look too dark. So we're gonna get a row of oak wood like this, but we're gonna leave a sneaky opening in it just like that. And then we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. We get a row all the way along that oak beam there. Stick one in there, one, two. Stick one in there. You can see we didn't fill in the stairs uh, on the underside of that bit, and we've left those bits completely open. And I'm now gonna get my glass block, because I prefer the block for this particular bit. We're gonna stick a glass block into the end there, and another glass block into the end there like that. And then we're also gonna get some spruce wood stairs and we're going to do them upside down along there like that to give that again a little bit of depth I'm going to come along the other side do exactly the same on the oak beam some upside down steps and that just nicely separates the front from the back and the uh, top from the bottom I think so there we go so that's that bit let's come inside now because we've got a bit of space inside and we need to make sure first off that we light it up so let's get that I think I just destroyed my door so let's get ourselves the door again put the door from the inside and then get some light either side of the, each of the doors like that now you can see under here we have left some gaps but it's topped off with steps now that means that that's going to be um, transparent which means that we can also put some crafting uh, elements in so like a chest can go there and there and we can still open the chest which is great so a double chest then a space then a double chest we're going to do the same over here double chest a space and a double chest and then in that space we are going to put a furnace on both sides so it's one and two and that means that we've got all this space down here that we don't need to put some of this stuff in. We do, however, need a crafting table. So let's get a crafting table in the corner over there. That's really nice. We also need to have a bed because one does need to sleep when they have been crafting. So we're gonna have a bed there and a bed there. And then just next to that bed, we're gonna stick another chest because it's nice to have something next to your bed that you can play with right in front of the window. Then we're gonna get a carpet just to make it look a little bit nicer. And we're gonna go all the areas that hasn't got anything in it yet we're going to stick some carpet now you've got the opportunity here to put all kinds of other stuff you've got lots and lots of space I've deliberately left it open so as you can have lots of space but what I would recommend is that here you leave yourself a gap and I'm not actually going to do it because it's entirely up to you what you do but you leave yourself a gap right here where you can stick yourself in a little trapdoor that allows you to go down to another level underneath your building which is always really really nice now on the side here if you remember we put a little bit of water underneath there so I'm gonna now get my fence and I'm gonna run my fence out just a little bit along the side here so as we've got a tiny little garden that we can have a bit of a play with and I'm gonna get a hoe and I'm gonna hoe all of this because we already know that the water that sat under that wall is gonna hydrate this really really beautifully so let's get some seeds and we can seed this up and plant ourselves a nice garden without any worry of it not being sufficiently watered because the water is underneath the wall and then we just need a bit of light and it'll be sufficient light for us to just put one on there one all the way along the other side like that one on the middle post that's in front of the door and then one on that wall there like that and one on that wall there like that and I think that looks a really nice little back garden let's come around the front because we've got an area here that we really want to make the most of really don't we so let's get the gravel this time we do want the gravel and we're going to put gravel there and there and we're going to create 
a step down using our spruce wood steps. We'll just lose that, that, and that. And you know what? I might actually bring in some grass here just to just to make it a little bit more symmetrical because I prefer that. Then we're going to get our gravel path and we're going to take this gravel path all the way down to the shore here, the nice little beach that we've got. There we go and I think that works really quite well and if we wanted to we can make a little jetty there. I'm not going to do that, that's entirely up to you. And then here we can just get ourselves some pots and some flowers. Let's stick a pot there and a pot there, put a flower in each, Whoop, that's gravel, come on Avo, let's stick a flower in each of them, that looks really quite nice, we like that, and if we also get ourselves some torches, put a torch either side of that door, because it would be nice to be able to see when you're coming home at night, and we're also going to get the trap door here, either side of this window, come around this side, do exactly the same. And I think that's come out really quite nicely. So last thing we want to do is we want to get ourselves a little bit of a chimney. So let's just come along here. And we want to cut out one, two, three, and four, and then get our stone bricks. And we want to get one, two, and three, four, five, six, and then some wall. And I quite like the way wall finishes off a, a chimney by just doing that. And that looks really, really nice for a chimney for a really small cottage that anybody I think would be really quite pleased with. Now the last thing we're gonna do, and this might be a little bit, I don't know, a little bit contentious, you might not like it, but I'm gonna put some um, grass dirt there. I'm gonna get some trap doors there, there, and there. And you know what, actually, I'm not. I'm going to take those two grass uh, trapdoors off the side. I'm going to extend that, and there. I'm going to put the trapdoor there and there. I'm going to close it. I'm going to put another trapdoor there and close it. I'm going to put another trapdoor there, and I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to get the flower, and I'm going to shove some flowers in there. There's a little bit of a window dressing because I think it looks really quite nice. And that, my friends, is one finished starter cottage. I'm not going to do anything on that side. I'm going to leave that blank. And I hope you really, really like it. So there you have a nice little starter cottage. I reckon anybody would be pleased with that if they came into their world and they can live in there. There's everything you'd need inside, or certainly space for anything you could possibly need inside of that. You could even, I reckon, if you wanted to, put some steps up and create a mezzanine level on the top floor. Anything, really. It's entirely up to you. I like the way it turned out, and I hope you did too. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button for me. It'll be really, really awesome to see the likes racking up so I know that you're enjoying the video. And also, if you join the sub club, I will know that you want to see more videos. So please do hit that sub button, and I hope I'll see you again in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.